I was in my orchard yesterday and uh, I could see the chives were growing. They're two and three inches long now and uh, really new growth. And I could see also that uh, the birds were starting to look for places to nest because uh, they're in and out of wood piles and, um, and uh, they're taking uh, little pieces of grass and things that they find to build. So there's a preparation going on to be fruitful in the uh, late spring and early summer when they lay eggs and have young and the chives and the herbs and the, the, the early fruit like black currants produce a fruit that will um, give nourishment to us all and uh, uh, also elderflower is now starting just starting to bud a little bit and uh, and elderflower is great for a, a nice early summer drink elderflower cordial but also the sap is beginning to rise in the trees and um, and silver birch is one of the saps that I use I take the sap from the birch to drink because it's really good and, uh, and and really nice it has a kind of a mushroomy taste to it but it's beautifully uh, uh, nourishing and and really nice and all these things that look dormant at the moment are actually getting ready to bear fruit and that fruit is something that will sustain us and nourish us and help us uh, to to uh, enjoy the summer and it's not only fruit that sustains our body but it actually is nice tasting and and um, things as I've mentioned elderflower cordial and the black currants and the gooseberries that are just going to be early uh, you think you start to look forward to that fruit and look forward to the things that that will help us make to enjoy God's creation and enjoy the 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 beautiful flavors that God produces in in wildlife and uh, and in nature so I was really encouraged yesterday I, I just um, uh, was conscious of the fact that God always has uh, an element that in, in his creation which produces fruit which nourishes and I got to think about the word in 1 Colossians God, Colossians 1 verse 10 which says that you may walk worthy of the Lord fully pleasing him being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God and um, and God when he draws us to him and we become his followers begins to prepare us for good works so that we can be fruitful and we do have to work I mean the birds have to work to make the nests um, bees will be working soon to um, lay eggs and things to produce a, a harvest of honey for instance and, um, and, and the plants themselves are, are working hard now to break through to grow and produce a fruit and uh, it's the same for us sometimes it's very difficult to grow and to produce fruit in our lives but that is what God is asking us to do he's asking us to mature and he says in that verse it says and increasing in the knowledge of God what is the knowledge of God well the knowledge of God is the fruit of the Spirit the Holy Spirit and also the knowledge of Scripture and those are the things that help us to grow and please him so that we can be fruitful for him. And as we uh, grow in our faith in maturity, we need those things that will help us to bear fruit. And obviously with plants, it's food and manure, etc. And uh, uh, with birds, it's the, the, the insects that they have, the seeds that they can uh, find and um, that's that's what fills them and, and helps them to be fruitful but for us it's the word of God and the Holy Spirit so as we grow in our faith we must mature to a place where we uh, are able to produce a good fruit what is a good fruit well a good fruit is love and kindness towards each other 
and to and uh, towards those actually we don't know and i think a good fruit in father's house is the work that don and dorothy are doing with people like sarah and elaine finn and paul bardy and val and all those who help they bring a good fruit in their love and kindness towards those who are hungry and those who are often on their own and living on their own. But Don and Dorothy and the, the team that work with them haven't just come to that place suddenly. God has moved within them, softening their heart as they have matured in their Christian walk and brought them to a place where they are compassionate towards those who are less fortunate than themselves and uh, who have nothing. And th their hearts have been softened in such a way that they can show the loving kindness, which is the fruit of the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. And that loving kindness that they show actually nurtures in the same way as uh, the things in nature. It nurtures the love that will help these who are often lonely, often hungry, often homeless, to reach a place where they can receive the love of God in a way that they would never have expected. And that hopefully and prayerfully will draw them into the kingdom of God. And then God can work on them so that they can prepare their hearts to help others and that's how the kingdom of god grows and that's how uh, things grow in nature that's how things grow in uh, in in the in the creation that god has created created and and also that's what we would expect of believers who are nurtured in such a way by god through the word and through the spirit that they become fruitful increasing in the knowledge of God and that's what I want to finish off with is actually that we need to increase in the knowledge of God the Father and as we spend time with him in the word and in the, with the Holy Spirit spending time with God increases our knowledge of him so I want to encourage you this week if you can just think about the things that are happening in nature and the things that we can take from nature and uh, the fruit from nature and think about our own fruit and how we are going to bear fruit. And maybe we're not spending enough time with God. Maybe we're not spending enough time in the Word. But if we do that, we will produce a fruit that will help others to see who God really is and increase their knowledge in God. So I want to say Shabbat Shalom and uh, enjoy Shabbat. But just think next week about how we can spend more time with God. Thank you, Mike Fryer.